Okay, now let's see how long this loading screen would take. Not long at all. Cool. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. All right. Here we go. We can play. We can play as Sheila. A bunch of rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Okay. So let's see. We got four hundred gems, three dragon eggs, and is there any? And is there any uh, skill points here? Um, no. There's no skill points here. Cool. Okay. So Sheila. Um, Sheila. Out of all the characters who've been redesigned, she probably has the most redesigned out of all the characters because. In the original Spyro games, she, Sheila was was just a regular kangaroo. There was just no, there was nothing too special about her in the original. But here, it's like she has hair, she um she's wearing clothes and and I kind and I kind of like her I kind of like her redesign. She looks even more like a kangaroo in, in in this form. I mean, besides the hair in the in the in the, in the jacket, but but I think but, but I do like her redesign though. And Pete up there using your air hawk. It's easy. Just press the jump button again at the top of your jump. All right. So Sheila has the ability to do a double jump, which is something that Spyro can't do. And when she attacks, she attacks with she attacks with a kick. And which let's see, her other move is that if you land on the ground, like just as you land on the ground, she does she does a high jump, and she and she goes crazy high with that move too. Anyways, we got these Rhinox. Let's take care of these guys. Okay. Oh yeah, and she also has a stomp. With with where if you jump, if you press triangle when you're jumping, she, she does a stomp. So yeah, um, I I kind I kind of like I I kind of like Sheila. I, in fact, I think Sheila out of all the characters, I think she has the most worlds out of all the characters. Cause they're all, cause they're all other characters that you'll play as. At whoa, as we continue, whoa, as we continue, come on, as we continue onwards. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. Ah, home at last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelet, but I think you deserve it more. And we have ourselves another dragon, whose name is Ruby. Come on. There we go. Okay, the time is a little bit more strict here, but 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 I'm pretty sure once I get used to it, I'll be able to do it. Anyway, we got this moose here. Let's take care of this guy. Or get hit. Or get hit. Okay, so that's okay. So the timing with her kicks is a little bit more. Is a little bit more. It's a little bit more on point. You gotta be a little bit more point when you do when you do her kick. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sheila, she, um, her kicks are so strong. She can actually break, break rocks with her kick. It's, it's pretty. It's, it's kind of crazy on how on how strong she is. Okay, I think that's everything around here. So let's go over here now. Stomp this down. Stomp this down. Oh yeah, and make sure to break these rocks too, because these rocks do have gems in them. So make sure to break them when, when you see some. Okay, um, there was some. Oh yeah, right here. There we go. Watch out for this moose. There we go. Okay, at least I'm trying. At least I'm trying to figure out the timing now. Cause yeah, her, cause yeah, when you attack with Sheila, it's not it's not like with Spyro's um flame attack where his flames kind of linger for a while. So so if you miss time your attack, uh, you still you're still able to um hit your enemy. It's like here you had the time just right. Anyways, let's help. Let's go ahead and get this guy a hand and kick this rock away. Hey Sheila, let's play a joke. Takes this egg and smash it on Billy's house. Okay, I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Oof, that sounds that sounds rough. <laughs> K 
cute, cute little guy doing, doing, doing that um, chicken dance. Okay, so let's see. Another one of these mooses. Take care of that guy. Those Rhinox have taken over. There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash their huts. They're too big to smash with your kick attack, though. Try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse the Rhinox with taunts while you stomp their huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the action button in the air. Okay. So what we gotta do here is we got to um take care of these houses. Just stomp this down. Get this guy out of the way. And stomp. Let's be careful here, because I don't want to go off the I don't want to go off the stage by accident. No, I don't know what whoa. I don't know why there's a um tree behind her like that. I mean basket behind her like that. Let me kill this guy. Oh that was weird. Whoa, I almost fell off because of that. Let's just go ahead and get these remaining gems. Okay, okay, the timing with her um double jump is a little I mean her high jump is a little bit um weird. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I think I think I just need more time to practice that move and I'll get used to it eventually. Okay, let's see. I think that's everything around here, so let's move on. How to control a character or vehicle? Just go to the pause menu and select controls. Alright, thank you very much, Zoe. There we go. Whoa. Man, she she jumps so high that she just goes over the rocks. And she's not supposed to be able to. Stomping target practice. Nice. Okay, hopefully these whoa, I hope these are the last few gems. And it's not, I'm missing a few. Like like always. Okay, so which way are over here? Oh you know what? It's probably behind that um house. Yep, there they are. Come on. There we go, that's all the gems. And let's get our dragon eggs. For the help, Sheila. Ooh, you can have this egg I found in my house. Level complete. Level complete. We will return home. And with that com and with and with that complete, Sheila is now a playable character. Um that doesn't mean we can switch to her at will. <laughs> unfortunately but um there are some sections in some worlds where where you'll get to play as her and so so remember that so let's so we're gonna have to remember remember that in the future and funny thing is sun um sun valley villa i mean not not valley villa it actually has a world that features sheila, sheila in in this world which is why i wanted to do that mission mm, that mission that's why i wanted to do that world first before doing this world so without further ado, let's go. I don't know. There was another word that we could win to first and did that word with Spiral, but I decided but but I felt it was better to just get Sheila um unlocked first and just get and just get over with. Anyways, here we are. We are we are we are now in Sunny Villa, Villa, which has 400 gems, six dragon eggs, and as for skill points, um, there are two skill points. That is to flame all the trees and skateboard course record um, number one. All right. So without further ado, let's begin. Oh my! Can you help us? Hordes of ferocious rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Are you a dragon? I can't believe your kind really exists. 
Yeah, it's kind of interesting to learn that, that the dragon used to, used to live in this world. Okay, so let's claim this one. That That's our first tree. I'm not sure how many trees there are in this world, but... Um, oh, I was, I was expecting to run into each other. Oops. Just let me catch my breath. And then I'll kick that other guy's butt. Sure you will. Anyways, let me take care of this guy for you. This is the end of the level right there. Oh. Those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. Yeah, sure. Anyways, move, moving on. Take care of this guy. Yeah, because the funny thing about this world is that um, the small guys, they don't really attack you. So kind of think of this world as kind of like a tutorial world because the small enemies don't really attack you. They just, they just run from you or they, or they just cower in fear. There are some big enemies that will attack you though, so so get ready for those guys. But really though, they're not they're not hard to fight though. All you have to do is just flame them, and and that's and that's how you take care of the big guys. Okay, There's nothing here. Anyways, kill this guy. Okay, so let's go up this way. Okay, we got to save to me. Okay, we got to save Zo. You'll have to flame him using the attack button. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, let's see. Um, make sure that make sure I'm getting all these gems. Cause I don't want to miss any gems, even though I'm pretty sure I will regardless. Cause, Cause that's something I always do. Each time a fairy zaps you, like this. It means thank you very your much. Has been saved. I don't know why I'm saying if thank you for. <laughs> you'll return to the last place you got zapped. All right. So, so in case we ever die, which I hope, which I hope, whoa, which I hope it won't be too often, um, Zo will, Zo will take us back to, to to the last place that she zap us. So let me take care of this guy. Here we have a dragon egg. This this just sitting here. Okay, I was waiting for him to attack, but he just but he's just chilling there. <laughs> okay, watch out, cause don't fall down there, cause cause it's pretty much like falling to a pit. I mean this there is water, but if you fall down there, it's it counts as it's count as falling out of the world, so so be careful not to fall down there. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and climb up here. Claim this tree. Okay, now let's see. Um, now we're gonna go up this way. Um, now when we go up here, there is there is two places that we that we're supposed to go. Um, right there, that's that's the area that will take us to um, Sheila's um, portion of the, of the level. I'm not gonna go in there yet because I want to do that skill point first, and that is to uh, get all the uh, trees. Because, <clears throat> because I think if you was to change, because if you was to go to another world, I mean, well, not go to another world, but another location, things respawn for some reason. At least not, at least not with the the enemies don't the enemies won't respawn, but the um trees will. At least, at least I think the trees will will respawn and. I want to make sure that I get this skill point first before before going through before going through uh, Sheila's um, portion of the level. And I'm actually glad I went up there too because I actually missed this gem somehow. But see, I told you guys, I I always seem to miss the gems for, for some reason. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, there's another one of these Rhinox. Okay, okay, now here we're gonna have a cutscene here. Let me kill this guy first. And yeah, you needed to say he's that chicken's dead. Okay, now let's see. Uh, take care of this guy. Valley, I'm done. I'm trying to. Thanks there we go. Help. But 
I think I could have worn him down sooner or later. Okay. But anyways, I think. No, that's still not quite the skill point yet. We're getting there though. Let me just go ahead and take care of this guy. Thank you for rescuing our town. As mayor, I awarded you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. And we have Sanders. Doing the check doing the chicken dance. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. Yeah, that was not a chicken. That was actually a dragon, my boy. Damn, we got 11 dragon eggs already. Okay, I, I okay, I think that's I think this is the last tree right here. So let me go ahead and burn that. Is that it? Yep, that, that's it. That's that's the skill point. All right. Uh I'll go back to I'll come back to this I'll come back to this later cuz I actually like this cuz I actually like this um portion portion of the level. So I'm going to save that for last. So instead, we're going to go to um Sheila's. Just be careful, just be careful not, not to go through the um portal by accident. That <laughs> that would be embarrassing too if I do that too if I went through the portal by accident. But anyways, let me go ahead and climb back up up here. There we go. And let's. Whoa! Oh, hey, Spyro, it's too late now. There are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of this tower. All right, she she like you do your thing. Alas, I have lost my love. She's being guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? All right, Marco. Alas, Anything else? I have lost no, you say the same thing. Okay, let's go. Maybe watch out for these guys with the spears. These guys, these guys are kind of annoying to fight. Something they're not hard, but they, but they can be annoying though. Okay, I do, I do kind of like how when you, when you go to one world, to, when you trans, whoa, God, when you transition, transition, transition. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't say the word right. Trans, ah. We move on to the. Do <laughs> Let's just change it. When you go to a different uh, portion of the level, um, it just it just take it just takes you it just it just takes you there. Like there's no loading sequence or anything, and I kind I kind of like that. Okay, let's just there's this guy right here. Man, I I gotta say, Sheila is crazy. It's cra like like I probably said this before, but it's just crazy how she's just able to just break everything just by kicking it. I mean, Spire can break things with his head when he charge into things, but but the fact that but it's the fact that Sheila Sheila can also break rocks with her, with her kicks. It's crazy. There's this guy right here. Dip your god. And, <clears throat> and, I, and I do find it kind of cool how she has a double jump too, but I don't know. It's like thanks to her ability to just jump high like this, it's kind of like what's the point of um, double jumping because Sheila can just jump so high. She just like, look at that. I mean, I don't I'm, like she jumps so high. I don't I don't even need to jump on, onto this um, ledge here to climb up. It's crazy. Okay, going up. Oops, okay. okay let's see. And that's another one, that's another one up. Nice. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's like I think the double jump messes me up sometimes because, because just oh, watch out for this guy. Okay, 
Cause when I uh, cause when I'm trying to do the um, when I'm trying to do the the super jump, I end up doing a I end up doing a jump a double jump first. So I don't know the double jump seems to screw me over more than than anything. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Come on, dude. Look at that. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it now, but it was like whoa, whoa, whoa! It was, it was like she, it was like she, she was tippy, tippy toeing. There we go. What? Marco sent you here. Yes. I got a restraining order against him. Dang. I can, I can already tell by looking at this, at this girl that she's very obnoxious. Like, look at her. She's just. She just looks like one of those obnoxious teenage girls just chewing, just chewing on the gum and just and just think so highly of herself. Look at her. If you see Marco, please tell him I've moved out. Okay, sure. Cause I remember back back in whoa. Cause I remember remember back in my high school days, there there was there was fem there was girls who was like who was just like this, and of course I missed some gems. Pointing downwards. I can't see. Ah, uh, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna take a look. Okay, there we go. Still pointing down. Uh, I, oh, I thought I saw it. Oh, you know what? I think Sparks pointed me out. But yeah, there, there, but yeah, there was some um some girls at at my high school that I used to. When I used to, when I used to go to high school, who was what, Sparks? Okay, okay, so okay, so I, so I did find all the gems here. Okay, he was just pointing me, he was just pointing me out because because everything was collected here. Okay, but yeah, there were some girls back back in high school who who, who was so obnoxious with the gum chewing, like like they would literally sit there and they just, and they just chewing the gum and they just make this and they just make this loud obnoxious obnoxious chewing. I can't talk to this guy. Okay, I was expecting to say something about this chicken. But there. Look, chicken turned up. I hope it's not the only one left. I think it is actually. I think that is the last chicken. But um, yeah, there was, but yeah, there were some girls back back in high school who would just obnoxiously chew the gum. So oh. now what? No, wait, wait. Let me. He, put, he might be pointing to the portal up above me. Yeah, he is. Okay, let's go. Here we have Hunter. Um. Hey, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? <laughs> Start the boarding challenge now? Yes. I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Yeah, sure. Anyways, we gotta click, um, catch all these um, lizards, which which are which you which you would probably look familiar um, from the second game because these are the um, scarlet. Um, I think they're called scarlet lizards from um, from glitter. But yeah, but yeah, this is why. But yeah, this is like my favorite. Um, out of all the words, this is my like my favorite thing to do because because Spyro gets because Spyro gets to, gets to skate on on a skateboard. And if you press the try, I mean, if you press the jump button, oh, I couldn't get him. If you, if you press the jump button just as you go, whoa. Okay, that was weird. If you press the jump button just as you get to the top of the um, ramp, you get some extra height from that. I think I got that guy. I don't see him now. Let's go ahead and get this guy real fast. Yeah, I don't see him anymore, so I did get him. That was weird. I, it didn't even look like I got him. Ow, and I crashed. Okay, so um, I think there's some whoop, to the left. Okay, there's some down this way. Yep, there he is. Okay, which way are you going? There we go. All right, so now let's see. Um, there's five left. 
Now let's see if I can remember. Um, I already got. I already got the ones over. Okay, there's one up there. There's two up there. Ah, crash. Uh, it's it, it's kind of hard to judge um, how, how how to line myself up. Okay. So this guy and there's that guy up there. Okay, so okay, so I take this ramp up here. Okay, that was weird. Oh yeah, you can also do tricks if you press the triangle button. So like this. Woo! There we go. That's all though. Hey, that was great. And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. And we got dragon egg for it. <laughs> all right. If you can catch all the lizards before time expires without wiping out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy though. All right though. I mean, all right though. <laughs> all right, Hunter. So yeah, like he said, we got now we now we just got to do do this without crashing now or wiping out, as they say. And we only got three minutes to do this. I'm kind of confident in doing this. It's, I'm just work. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, like the controls are a little bit different. There's a little bit. It's just trying to line myself up. I'm just. I just need. To, I just need to do a better job at lining myself up. Okay, that's that's four. Now let's go ahead and get these guys here. Okay, which way are you going? Okay, that was smart. Run, run towards me. That was smart. I think there's one, one up here. No. Ah, I couldn't get him. Okay, got him. Okay, uh, okay, there's one right there. Let me go get that guy. But yeah, um, skateboarding though, I think I really, I really do like the um, skateboarding um, sections with Spyro. I think, I think, it, I think it's really cool. It's just too bad there's, there's not a lot of them. Because if anything, I think there's only like three in the entire game, which is kind, of, which is kind of unfortunate. But I, but I still, but I still like it though. Okay, let me go ahead and get this guy right here. Oh what? I actually crashed. Too bad. Maybe you'll do better this time. Go that was weird. I don't know. I don't know. Come on now. I don't know how I managed to crash like that. It looked like, cause it looked like I landed perfectly, but I guess not. But that's all right though. We'll just try again. Okay. Jump and get this guy. Okay, um, let me go get the. Oh, I messed up. Okay, cause I wanted to get the. Cause I wanted to actually get the ones up there first, but I messed. But I messed that up, so I'll just come back. So I'll just come back and get that. Get them later. Okay, which, way, which way are you going? Gotcha. Okay, now I. Th Gonna try to get between these two. Um, there we go. Whoa, okay. okay. Which way are you going? Of course, of course he goes. Of course he goes for the ramp. And that was weird. I, I actually went through that um that wood thing. That was kind of weird. <laughs> and oh yeah, there is a skill point for this too. Well, no, I already said that. Well, I mean. I already mentioned that. Oh, that was you guys saw that, right? <laughs> what what was he doing? Whoa, 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 Oh yeah, I gotta remember to get that guy up there. I don't know, like that lizard was doing some kind of weird dance just now. Like he was doing like it was like he was doing some kind of Harlem shake or something. Okay, okay, there you go. Okay, now I just need to get that guy and that'll be it.
And here we go. And that's that. Whoa, that was sweet. And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. Nice. We got Daisy. All right, now you can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck. Okay, um, I don't quite remember the score, but I think it was like somewhere around uh, thirty-two thousand, I think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to um, get get as many. Whoa, ah, I messed up. But I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and try to get as many um, points as I can, and try to get and try to beat that score. But yeah, make sure that make sure to do as many. Hey, whoa! Oh my gosh, it's so weird. I don't know the fishes. Are, the fish, the fishes are, are kind of weird. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get used to it. Cause there is one move that you can do, but okay. Thanks a lot, game. You just threw me right at, right at the wall for some reason. Come on. That is so weird, cause it's like you lose speed, but then you get, then you get a sudden boost of speed after that. Ah, oh, it didn't give it to me. Cause I was trying to do the nasty nork, cause. Cause the nasty nork is ah, cause the nasty nork you had to do like two backflips and then and, and then you had to do a twist and then and that counts as the nasty nork, and that gives you like twenty five points so that's so that's very so it's very worth doing. Let me try this again. No, nope, it won't. No, nope, it won't give it to me. I'm, okay, there's no way I'm getting this. Cause, cause there is another session in the game where where you had to do something like this, and it gives you a lot of points. Yeah, thirty-two thousand. Okay, I can do that. Um, I'm probably just gonna skip ahead until until I get until I get the until I beat the, uh, skill points. So, give me a minute, guys. All right, there we go. And there's a skill point. Okay. Now that's taken care of. Now I just want to get these gems, and after that, we should be we should be done with this world. But yeah, but yeah, um, that that was that wasn't so bad. I mean, I did crash a couple of times, but it wasn't so bad. But yeah, though, I guess I guess the physics are a little bit different in this game, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna have to get used to it. And it was, and I wasn't able to, and I wasn't able to do the nasty Nork too because, because it's like I said, it's like nasty Nork. It's kind of like you, it's like you do two backflips, and then you do, and then you do a twist, and then, and then that counts as a nasty, as a nasty Nork. And the nasty Nork gives you, gives you, gives you the most points too. It's, it's like, tw it's like twenty five thousand points. So yeah, it's, so yeah, if you can pull it off, it's definitely worth, it's definitely worth going for it. But I guess it's just I guess it's just hard to do it here because there's not enough because there's not enough space to do it. But anyways, I'm just gonna go up here and make sure that there's no gems up here. Okay, I think it's can I? No, I can't. Okay, okay. Um, cause I remember something that I, I would like to do in the original was I would, okay. That's all the gems. I would like to jump up there. Cause like there was like a little gap you could get up to you could, you could get up to in the original game, but I guess but I guess you can't do it here. But anyways, this level is now complete. Oops. And we did get all the skill points, right? Yep, got all the skill points. So so that is it. We are done with this. We are done with this world. So without further ado, let's return home, guys. And then I'm gonna move on to the next world, world, and then we'll stop there and call it and call it an episode. 
But I gotta say that one one of the things that I kind of miss in this game that from from the from the last game is that there's no opening movie or end or like outro movie movie when, when you're leaving when you're leaving the world. That was something that I liked in Spyro too. That there was an opening when you first enter the world. Oh, we got a cutscene. Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Oh, oh. Max, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say. Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? <sighs> Hunter. Anyways, <laughs> but uh, yeah, what what I missed in the, in the second from the second game is that there was an opening and then there was an outro, which between which when you enter the world when you first enter the world there was a there was an intro that kind of showed you what was happening in the world and then there was an outro once you leave the world. And that was something that I kind of miss in this game, but but anyways, I'm gonna call this an episode. So in the next episode, we are gonna do Cloud Spears. So until then, guys, I am Randy. R I am Randy RJ. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe and stay fresh.